ARCHICAD has a number of features to streamline interaction and data management. Good news! These familiar features will work for managing all the IFC properties that become part of your ARCHICAD project when you import models from other programs or partners. For example, search for project elements using IFC property as criteria. Schedule and list IFC properties by project elements. Value mapping between the ARCHICAD schedulable parameters and quantities. And now a new development. IFC properties can be displayed in the model and on documentation via markers, labels, and zone stamps. Let's see how you can display IFC data on labels in this short video. Here's a building from a project designed by Rift Architect Studio in Norway, called the Nordra Jarlsberg Brigge project. On the floor plan, we select a zone and check out the zone stamp. It shows the zone name, number, and measured area value. Our task is to expand this zone stamp to include the IFC data relevant to the zone. In Zone Settings, the Tags and Categories panel lists the IFC properties of this particular zone. Use the Manage IFC Properties button if you want to add a new IFC property or edit the existing ones. The appearing dialog box lists the IFC attributes and properties currently assigned to this zone. The list shown depends on which IFC scheme you're using. You can add a value to any of these properties. But right now, let's filter the data to show only the items that already have a value. We can add a new property. Here, we'll add the zone function classification using one of the classification standards integrated in ARCHICAD. For example, the Omni class space by function. Since our zone includes a kitchen, we'll select the kitchen classification as required by the standard. The result our zone now has a classification title and Omni class number as required by the standard we're using. This data also appears in the Tags and Categories panel. And this is great because if it appears in the Tags and Categories panel, it can also appear at the label. Don't forget, the Tags and Categories panel will also display any other zone-related extra data that may result if you import a model from a zone manager program like Dorofus. In the Zone Stamp panel, use the Additional Tags line to add properties defined in the Tags and Categories panel. Here is where you can define the level of detail for the displayed data. For any line of the Zone Stamp, choose the data you want to display. For example, let's add the newly defined Omni Class Functional Classification and also the Floor Covering property. This data now appear together with their names and values. You can vary the display. For example, show the parameter values only. You can use tags and categories data, including IFC properties, for any other element type, not just zones. Let's look at a wall and its label. In label settings, Expand the label content using the additional tags item as we did before. Now we add data from the walls, tags, and categories as needed. For example, the structural function classification, the position classification, the IFC standard acoustic rating, and fire rating properties. If you prefer, with one click, you can display all the Tags and Categories data instead of selecting each item from each row. Now we've expanded the wall label content with the four properties we chose. You could also have a label display the IFC data which is imported via IFC models from other disciplines, like Structural and MEP. Here we view the load-bearing elements we have received from the structural engineer who used Tecla structures. In the floor plan view, we will display the IFC data for a structural column that has been imported from Tecla Structures. If you look at the Tags and Categories panel of the selected column, you see that it includes all the IFC properties imported from Tecla Structures. These include profile name, structural material, and calculation data. As an aside, 
Don't forget that this data, including the Tecla calculation data, can also be listed in ARCHICAD schedules. Our column label first lists all of the data imported from Tecla structures, both the property names and property data. You have the option of having labels display just the data needed for the given task or documentation. For example, we'll display only the two major structural data in the following order. The reference data, which includes the column profile defined in Tecla. And the grade data, which is a Tecla property that contains the structural material. Labels appear on floor plan and section views. But if you want to see them in the 3D model, you can define a so-called 3D document. In summary, the IFC data in your ARCHICAD project and the IFC data which you import from other disciplines are fully integrated in the ARCHICAD interface as native intelligent data items. You can search for them, list them, and display them via labels and model views and documentation.